Hello, lady. Good evening. Hi, Miss. Good evening. How are you? How do you feel? Um, <laughs> <¿Cómo le digo? laughs> better. <laughs> Super. <laughs> Um, you told me on Friday that you were sick with a headache, migraine, sí, I think. Serio. O sea, me está contando que estuvo enferma? No, oh. you, you told me. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, I I'm still a little bit sick. <laughs> Ajá, es que según entendí, me había dicho que estaba enferma la vez pasada. Entonces, ahorita era como... Como, como yo. So you were thinking about it. No, you mentioned, uh, I think it was on Friday, I think that you had a headache. No? Headache? Uh, <laughs> pues pasé dormida todo el día. El sábado y el domingo. Todo el día. <laughs> no fui al gimnasio. Solamente la de la ropa. En la lavadora. Pero... <laughs> Ah, but you did something. <laughs> Entonces solo pasé dormida, 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 dormida. Fíjese que esta parte de acá, no sé si todavía se ve, uh -huh. pero tuve que comprar algo. Ya le voy a mostrar. Porque me dolía horrible. Entonces esto me ha disminuido un poco. Esto. Mm, really? Porque esto de acá andaba como todo así como negro y mira ya mm -hmm. disminuyó será probably stress or something else mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so you need some vitamins puede ser mm -hmm. yeah I got a, a flu <laughs> I'm still recovering <laughs> too yo también <laughs> todavía me estoy recuperando but I'm okay. <laughs> Pronto estaremos mejor. <laughs> yes, I know. Uh, Miguel, hello, Miguel. How are you? Hello, teacher. How's uh, it going? I'm fine. Fine? Okay, yes. great. Mm, by the way, Miguel, have you update your um, Zoom? No sé si ha actualizado el Zoom. Vi que cuando entró, eh, le estaba dando un problema ahí con la cámara. No sí, sé si se pero, fijó. Pero creo que es la computadora, como es un poquito viejita la que tengo aquí en la casa. Uh -huh. Es que sí. incluso hasta con mi compu me está, me está dando problemas. Bueno, me dio problemas este, al principio. Se cortaba. Sí, es, es, es que es viejita, por eso, porque la que uso aquí es la, la que tenía antes en el trabajo. Uh -huh. y, y la nueva la tengo en el trabajo. <ríe> entonces aquí está la uso para las clases pero sí a veces me da ese problema de la cámara pero se uh -huh. le pasa solo es por rato bueno ahorita ya le agarro otra vez bien feo <ríe> sí yo creería que es la actualización trata de checar ahí no. las si hay alguna pendiente sí la, la voy a revisar este eh, teacher no no me conecté el viernes porque no tenía internet, eh, pasó un camión aquí de, del pan lido y, y me dejó sin internet, se llevó el cable. Y se llevó el pan también. Y Karina me vendió pan tampoco. <risa> ah, ok, estaba peor, estaba peor esa situación. <risa> sí, no se puede, aquí, aquí ya lo tengo, el café. Con el... Ok, bien, de acuerdo, Miguel, gracias por hacerme saber porque sí, este, claro, sí. Sí, mandé sí, mensaje no. también al grupo, por si acaso. Ok, Miguel, sí, thank pues, you so me, much. Me imagino que los administradores lo leyeron porque siempre que falto me llaman. <ríe> no le llamaron. <ríe> Cabal, hoy no me llamaron. <ríe> ok, bueno, well, but thank you so much, Miguel. Eh, Nilton, hi, Nilton. Hi, teacher. A lo cacheo, comiendo. <ríe> es que vengo ahorita justo llegando a la universidad, vengo. <ríe> Ok, miren, bien portado, Nelson. Uh, let's see. Uh, Marlene, hello, Marlene. Where are you, Marlene? No le escucho, Marlene. Eh, me parece que son los audífonos. Si sí, los desconecto y... 
I think that's the view for me. No, no se escucha. I think that you have problem with the earphones. So check them or try some others. Probably hay algunos otros. Se los escucha como ahí, como si estuviera tocándolos, pero no, no sé. So Ahora sí. Ahora sí. Ahora sí. Ahora sí. Yo no audífonos, sí. ¿eh? Ajá. Okay, Veronica, hi. She's a listener. <laughs> nice to see you. Hi, Carlos. Roberto. Hi, Miss Ramirez. Hello, hello. Okay, I'm going to start sharing my screen, guys. So let's see what the future has for us. Can you see that full screen, that full, in full screen, guys? Is that in full screen, the screen? Can you see my full screen? Yes. Tell me. Yes, no. Yes. 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 Thank you. <laughs> You're still alive. Okay, so let's start, guys. Welcome. We have our session number 14. So we're um, just, let's say, waiting for a week more and then we're done with module four. So let's see what do we have for this class. So we're gonna check our agenda for today. Uh, can you help us with the agenda? Let's see, Miguel. Okay, uh, session 14. Mm -hmm. Este warming up, eh, class objective, free task, simple pass, um, simple, <coughs> simple pass, why question? Mm -hmm. um, question. Uh, task preparation exercise, task conversation, wrap up. Uh, I learned about uh, a segment online English corporativo punto net. Okay, that net. So I yeah. Uh, uh, that net. I, uh -huh. Uh -huh. I read I read simple past twice. <laughs> I'm sick. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> let's see. Uh, let's start with the first activity. We're gonna <clears throat> start with our warming up and the instructions. So we're going to work individually, you're going to pick a card and you're going to ask a question to a classmate. And if you ask the question, you have to answer. So let's start with the first activity. So just let me open that. It's gonna take some time. Oh, not that much, right? Okay. Okay, so let's start um, one by one. We're just six or seven, and we're going to start one by one. Uh, Marlene, please pick a number, and you're going to ask that question to a classmate. Pick a number. Nine. Five. Nine. Okay. Nine. The question goes to Lady. Did you the get question. the mail today? Okay, did you get the mail today? Yes, I, I sent mail today. Mm, did you get the mail today? So, you did you receive the mail? Yes. Yes. Mail. The mail. Okay. The number. Mm. Yes, I did, right? Yes, I did. Uh, 16. Uh -huh. Pick a number, lady. 16. So, let's check that one this question missing verb so what's the missing verb um did you uh, 
Can you repeat it, please, lady? Es que me quedé en DVU, pero no sé cómo se dice planchar. Okay, so I'm going to write it. Aaron, uh -huh, Aaron. So let's see if I can write it over here. Yes. Okay. So now I'll read the question, lady. Do you, Aaron, Aaron. Did you eat on today, René Molina? Good evening. Hello, welcome. Oscar, did you iron today? Did you iron your clothes today? Did you? I know. I don't oh. know. I, 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 I didn't. You didn't? Why? So who did it? Nobody? Uh, my wife. <laughs> Please, ask uh, the question to a classmate. Number 12. 12. Okay, so let's check it. Okay, so what's the missing verb for that question? Did you? Did you wash it today in Milton? Did you did you say wash it? Right. Washed or right. wash? Which one, Oscar? Mm. Number one or two? No, watch. Ah, okay, number two, right? So did you yes. wash? Right. Wash today. Okay. So the question is for Nilton. Nilton, did you wash today or do you do the laundry? Yes, I did wash. I did. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's see. Nilton, pick a number. Yeah. Okay, please select your victim. Okay, uh, Rosa. Did you make lunch today? Yes, I did. What did you cook? What did you make a salad? <laughs> Soup, chicken, shrimp? Chicken. What no, did you cook? Uh, what did you cook? Uh, chicken. Oh, chicken yeah. soup? Awesome. Very good. Okay, so we need chicken soup. I need it. Let's see, Rosa, pick a number, please. Number two. Number two, okay. Uh, ask the question to a classmate. Okay. Um, um, Carlos Roberto. Okay, Carlos. Yes, I did. Ah, okay. So what did you cook? Yeah, the bread chicken. Okay, chicken. Stuff bread with chicken. I think that's stuff bread. Stuff bread. Uh huh. Stuff bread with chicken. <clears throat> Pan con pollo. So it's stuff bread. Okay. Uh, Carlos, please pick a, a number. Number one. Number one. Okay, Carlos. Do you complete the question? Did you so what is the activity about? Yeah, clean. Uh huh. Clean or what? Yeah, clean. Dishes. Clean the cook. <laughs> okay, clean the dishes. Clean the dishes. dishes. Did you clean the mm -hmm. dishes today and no veo las opciones. We have, let's see, Veronica, Marlene, Veronica. Repeat it, Carlos. Ah, okay. Clelia. Clelia, okay. Uh, no, I didn't. No, you didn't. Okay, <laughs> nice. So you had a, a nice time. Let's see, Clelia, pick a number. Um, six. Six. Well, I have to clean the dishes today. <laughs> okay, Clelia, ask the question to a classmate. Um, para, um, Fernando. 
Fernando, okay. Did you work today? Um, no. No, mm -hmm. you didn't. So what did you do? Did you, did you work, Fernando, today? Ah, uh, yes, yes, I did. Ah, okay, okay. Now, Fernando, please pick a question. Uh, number 10. 10, okay, number 10. Clelia, ya pasó. Clelia. Did you make the beat today? Bad, bad. Bad today. Uh, yes, I did. Okay. She didn't clean the dishes, but she made her bed. She made her bed. Okay, <laughs> Clelia, uh, pick uh, another yeah. number, please. Uh, Julio. Okay, this is for Julio. Uh, number? 15. Okay, 15. The you. So what is the activity? Yes, an idea. So... Ah, okay. Walk the dog, okay. Do you walk the dog Did today? You... Okay, Rip, it's ask him, ask him. Did you work? Did you walk the dog today? No, I didn't. No, you didn't. Do you have a dog? Yes. Ah, okay, but you didn't. <laughs> okay, Julio. Julio, please pick a number. Nine. Number nine, okay. So what's that activity, guys? So what's that activity about? Any idea? Mop the floor. Mop the floor. The floor. Yes, it's aspirar. Okay, so how do you say that? I don't know. I'm gonna give you a clue. It starts with letter V. D. Uh -huh. but Bug. Yes, uh huh. Listen. Did you vacuum today? Uh huh. Mm. So the question is for? For Carlos Miguel. Okay, did you vacuum today? No, I didn't. No, right. Well, I don't use that. <laughs> Let's see, Miguel, pick a number. Uh, number four. Okay, four. So what's the action? What's the action, guys? Map. map. Okay. Yeah, that's map. So the question is for Veronica. Anna Veronica. Anna Veronica. Okay. Uh -huh. Hola. Repeat the question, Miguel. Did you get the email today? No, this one, this one. Did you mop today? Here. Ah, did you mop today? Okay, and the question is for? Uh, question is for... No Blanca. Okay, Blanca. So did you mop today? Let's see, Blanca, hello, hello. Activate your microphone, it's off. Me voy conectando como en la actividad que están haciendo, teacher. Okay, I'm going, to, well, uh, your classmate is asking you this question. Did you mop today? Yes or no? This one. Did you mop? No. No. No, I didn't, right? No. Okay, no, uh, Blanca, no, please pick a number. Uh, number seven. Okay, let's see, number seven. Now select a victim. Blanca, ask the question to a classmate. Uh, did you take out the trash today? 
Okay. Uh, Verónica. Ah, uh, Verónica. Verónica, okay. Verónica Burgos. No, I didn't. No, you didn't. Okay. No, I didn't. Who did it? Okay, okay. Verónica. Number 14. Okay, 14. Yes. Did you want to plan? Oh, and choose my my big team. Mm -hmm. Tell us, who's your big team? Hey, lady. Lady, okay, lady. No, I didn't. Did you Do wear you have plans? No, I didn't. By the way, do you have plans, lady? Do you have plans? No. <laughs> No, why? Mm -hmm. mm, okay, pick a number, lady. Mm, eight. Okay, eight. Did you go to the grocery store today? Veamos. Mm, Fernando. Fernando, did you go Señor, to the grocery store? Soy... <laughs> <laughs> Sí, me siempre es suerte. You go to the grocery store? ¿Me vas a hacer la pregunta store? o...? Store today. No, I didn't. Okay. And let's see. Let's pick the last two. Uh, well, let's discuss this one. Did you wash the dishes today, guys? Anybody? Did you wash the dishes? No, I didn't. Just some of you and the rest. No, they didn't. Did you make breakfast today? So did you get the day with that energy from the breakfast? Or did you eat, did you eat pupusas? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. So you did the yes, breakfast. Did. Okay. So you, I, I assume that you like cooking, right? <laughs> but, but I don't know. Okay, so let's continue. Um, Just let me share it with you back again. Hey, okay, waiting you guys. Okay, so here we have a previous knowledge. Just let me know if you can see the screen. Can you see the screen? Veronica, Oscar, Julio? Okay. Yes? Yes. Okay, so we're going to have a short review about the simple past tense, and we're going to read the following information. Could you help us with the first paragraph, Veronica? Okay, the first paragraph? Mm-hmm. Simple past tense is also known as the second form of verb. It is used to describe an action that has taken place in the past and, and it was completed. For example, I went to the market to, be, to buy some groceries. Continue. Okay. Yeah, continue with the affirmative, okay? Okay, to make an affirmative, we use the following formula. Subject plus simple past tense of verb plus object, in if any. If any, okay. So this is the base, well, this is the structure for the affirmative, right? Subject, uh, the simple past tense of verb that is known as the second form of verb. So we have in the tables or the list that we have, we have three forms, right? Simple present or infinitive form, then you have simple past and then you have past participle, right? So this is the second form, past, past tense, simple past, right? And uh, continue with the negatives, Veronica. Okay, to make a negative sentence, we use the following formula. Subject plus did not or didn't plus base form of verb plus object, if any. Okay, so we also have the structure for the negative subject plus did not or didn't, right? So we normally use contractions. So you're going to use didn't. I didn't take a shower today, <laughs> but I did. <laughs> I, I took a shower, okay? <laughs> well, that's just an example. And the questions, please, Veronica. In order to ask questions, we use the following formula. Did plus subject plus base for offer plus object, if, if any. 
If any. So what could be an example any. of a question? So what could be an example? Give me one example. Question. Question. Uh -huh. Oscar, oh, one example of a question. Did you base form of verb? Uh huh. Infinitive. Did okay. you? Uh huh. Did you take a shower? A shower. Did you take a shower? Okay. Another question, Oscar. Think about bird. Delta. Take a vacation. Okay. Did you visit your parents? Okay. Did you visit your parents? Okay. Do you, let's say, any other question? Did you study today? Okay. Did you study today? What else? More questions? I don't know it's correct yeah, what I'm saying. Did you take out a dinner before class? Oh, did you have dinner before class? Uh-huh. You say have or, uh, or eat. Okay, mm -hmm. thank you. You have dinner before class? So let's see, give me more examples. Blanca, Rosa. <laughs> Did you play soccer? Okay, did you play soccer yesterday, for example? Did you study French? Okay. Did you study French? What else? Did you did buy you... a motorcycle? Did you buy a motorcycle? Did you look at the Super Bowl? So did you watch the Super Bowl? <laughs> Super Bowl. Did you drive a car? Do you drive a car? Okay. What else? Anybody else need more questions? Lady, any question? Did you um did you do homework? Okay, did you do your homework? Your homework. Okay, so did you do your homework? So I think that's clear. So we're gonna check some more examples. So just let me open that and we're gonna do that. Did you okay? We will continue with uh, this, with the vocabulary activity. And look at this. We have um, the pronunciation of verbs with ED for the regular verbs, right? So we have three types of pronunciation and we were practicing this last week. So I, I brought uh, a chart so you can have an idea again. So we have ED, um, T and D sounds, right? At the end of the of the verbs in simple past. Examples, if you have a verb in the base form that ends with a T or D, you're going to pronounce the ED as ED, right? Rent, rented, add, added. Rent, rented, add, added, okay? Second rule, second rule says that if you have X, um, verbs that end in X, C, double S, T, H, C, H, G, H, S, H, K, and P, you're going to pronounce the E, D, as T, right? Okay, example, mixed, placed, guest, and this one is breathed, watched, loved, Finished and cooked, jumped, jumped. Okay, so don't add the idea, right? Like cook it, no, never, right? Jump it, no, never. Cooked and jumped, jumped, mixed, 
placed, guessed, breathed, watched, laughed, finished, cooked, and jumped. And then, so what kind of sounds are these ones? So we have X, C, double S, T, H, C, H, G, H, S, H, K, or P. Are these voice or um or um, or voiceless sounds, guys? So what do you think? Voice or voiceless? Do you remember? No voices. Okay. Voiceless. Voiceless sounds? Yes. Voiceless sounds, right? About D, look at this. We have L, N, R, G, V, V, right? S, W, Y, and Z. So you have in here what kind of sounds? Voiceless or voice? Voice. Voice sounds, okay? Voiceless sounds, you're going to pronounce the E, D, as T. And voice sounds, you're going to pronounce the E-D as D. Uh, yeah, D. Filled, filled, born, no, born, born, right? No, with T. Discovered, changed, arrived, closed, 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 followed. Follow. This is not an S. This is actually an a Z. Closed. Closed. Enjoyed and amazed. Amazed. Okay, so let's try to practice uh, this a little bit. Rented. Added. Added. Mixed. Placed. Guessed. Read. Watched. Loved. Wow. Finished, yes. cooked, cooked, and jumped. 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 Okay. Filled. 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 Born. 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 Discovered. Born. Discovered. Born. Changed. Born. Changed. Born. Arrived. 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 Closed. 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 Followed. 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 Enjoyed. 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 Amazed. Enjoyed. Amazed. 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 Okay. So now we can check some in uh, here. I have an activity. Just let me open that. And we're going to check that in a moment. We're going to classify the sound and to classify them in the correct in, in the correct pronunciation we have. So listen up. I'm going to give you some time so you can work on that and you can analyze the verbs ending. Remember, you have to look at these charts. Verbs ending in a voiceless sound. Examples B, F, K, S, S, H, C, H, G, H, C, and X. So we have voiceless sounds. It means T sound, yes? Okay. Verbs ending in a boy's sound. V, G, L, M, N, R, V, or Z, or a vowel, a vowel. So you're going to pronounce that as D. And verbs ending in sound, T or D, you're going to add ED, right? Examples. So here we have the examples. Let me check if we can listen to that. Helped. Helped. Okay. Kissed. Kissed. Can you uh, can you listen? Laughed. Danced. Jet. Kissed. Okay. Laughed. Washed. Finished. Danced. Looked. Watched. Rubbed. Begged. Called, claimed, cleaned, offered, loved, loved.
realized realized wanted educated needed ended okay so you can listen to that again and then you can do the exercise drag and drop the verbs according to their pronunciation in the past tense so you have some verbs so you you can do this and then you drag the ch the, the chart you drag the verb and then you place it in the correct uh, category in the correct sound t d or e d so you're going to do that okay um i'm going to give you five minutes i think that's fair enough so you can work on that and um just uh, please send me a picture once you're done okay to send a picture to the whatsapp group okay are you ready yes yes okay perfect so let's join the breakout rooms and remember that you have five minutes to do it and then you send a screenshot once you're done you send it and then we come back to the main session okay okay so let's join i'm going to send you the link don't worry Blanca, hello Blanca, Veronica. Ajá, este link es el que vamos a... Vaya, este link. Ah, pronunciación of terminación ed, ed, ed. ending in the voiceless song. Este termina en nd. Ajá, pero este es id. Reminding. El believe. Este termina en focal. O sea que las que terminan en PF, KS, SH, SH, GH, C y X se termina en la pronunciación en T. Ajá. ¿Verdad? Uh, Girls um, ending and boys song. Okay, entonces los ejemplos el iba. Entonces, por ejemplo, las la que están ahí, las primeras, los ejemplos que da terminan en D. Tendrían que ser la, el sonido como ID, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. El el pit. Sí, is it, is it loud, louder, louder, 
what ship finish ship dancing did looking looking what ship the este in in vamos a ver este termina en K es esa la talk acá ¿cuál más? termina en CH esta en CH sería esa sí Machet. Machet. Mach. Ajá. ¿Cuál otra? Este, vamos a ver. Póngalo arriba. Termina... Dice en K, en P, G, H, C, X. Creo que esas son completas. Nos faltan dos acá. De esas que estamos. Porque dice que termina en... Esa que termina en Scream. Esa es a cada que me di. Yo creo que esa es la mayoría. Son ahí. Ask. Ask. Ajá, termina en K. A ver, en K. Sí, en K, ask. ¿Cuál es otra? Pass termina en S, doble S. Ajá, pass. Sí, ah, sí, va ahí también porque termina en S. Pass. Ahora, las todas demás... las son ahí. <ríe> Esas ya van por la <ríe> añadidura. Es el bilip. El bilip. Termina en E. Horror. Horror. Um, improved. Solo esta sería en ver. Esta regla que aprenderse. Todas estas vocales con este sonido. Sí. Quiero ver qué más. Solamente eso. Finish. Ya estamos. Y dice que están malas. A ver. No, que están buenas. Ya podemos. <risa> ya nos grabamos de bilingües. <risa> ok bueno. es, es que hay que aprenderse esa para que eh, bueno, es esa regla esa regla por ejemplo eh, el que dice el que suena como como esa voz que vibradora es esta esa sí. y la que suena como voz suave es esta que no se escucha como la vibración uh -huh. y esa es la que termina en T o D eh, se pronuncia con id. No, espérense, hay que hacerle una captura. No le hice la captura. Hay que tomar captura. No, hay, hay. Yo creo que sí, así es baratísimo. Ok, 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 ok. D, E, S, E, D. En la primera. Repita. Sería D R E W S E D. Tendría que terminar con D. Eh, ahí mismo sería match 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 eh, me a T T T C H E D Sí. Mhm. 
Mm, sería eh, en terminar y en y B, o sea, en la tercera. Uh, start, started, creo. Ted. Ed, Ed, ajá, pero no lleva la E al inicio. Uh -huh. Ahí sí, ¿verdad? Ahí sí y ahí no. Ajá. Recorded, recorded, recorded. Sería la tercera. Recorded. Aquí, siempre. Ajá. Recorded. Sí, Lady. Eh, no lleva la T, lleva una D. Ahí. Así, ah, mero. Eh, la... Okay, welcome back, guys. So you did it. Very great. Yes, we did yeah, it. I'm just it. checking it. You got a 10. Okay, um, I'm just waiting for the rest. Let's see. Well, I got yours, Veronica, and Blanca. Nice. Very good. Veronica, Fernando, Blanca, and Julio, and Blanca, Luz, and Nilton. Clelia and Oscar, very good, guys. Okay. Okay, so now let's check. Um, you all got the same. So let's try to practice these verbs and then we continue. Dressed. 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 Matched. Dressed. Matched. Matched. Okay. Matched. Asked. 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 Talked. 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 Past. 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 Screamed. Screamed. Scream. Believed. 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 Improved. 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 Ordered. 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 Fond. 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 Reminded. 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 Painted. Painted. Corrected. Correct. Recorded. Recorded. Got it. Okay. Very nice, guys. So if you haven't finished, you can send that in later. Okay. And share with you this because I haven't shared this. So remember that uh, for most regular verbs, we only add ed, right? For regular verbs. So for example, listen, listen, ed, right? Mm -hmm. Cook, cook, ed, yeah. right? Ah, ed. how do you pronounce that? Cooked, cooked, cooked. looked, looked, looked. looked. Okay, can you say the verb and pronounce? Can you pronounce the verb called? How do you pronounce the verb in past? Called. 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 Okay. Walk. 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 With T. Excellent. Walked. Play. Walked. Plates. 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 Okay. Help. 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 Okay. Help. Open. 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 Can you repeat it? Open. 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 With D. D. Open. So remember, Open. you have a voice sound at the end. It means voiceless, right? Open. D. Open. Watch. Watch Watch. Okay. Paint. 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 Past Paint. tense. Paint it, right? Paint it. Jump. 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 Jumped. Okay. Play again. Play. Play. Brush. 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 
brushed t brushed brushed follow 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 okay and look at this so we have a regular birds birds that in in e we only add d for example we have like so we only add e lived shared so you only add d i'm going to send you this too so you can complete it that too okay so there you have the link so you can you can complete it Ya les envié el enlace para que lo, lo puedan realizar también. Use, use, used, use, use. I used to, for example, I used to take a shower when, uh, when uh, I used to uh, ride my bike in the past. I used to do this and that. Okay, said, loved, and moved. And now look at this. So we continue with this, this side, look at this. Uh, can you read that, please, uh, Oscar? Verbs that end with? Stop. Mm -hmm. Here. Uh, read, it. read it, please. Crack. Right. None of us. Skip. Mm -hmm. so verbs that end with? Stop it. Stop. Stop. Stopped. Okay. Stop. So look at the verbs that end with a vowel plus consonant. Skip vowel consonant, vowel consonant. So you double the consonant and then you add ED, right? Pint, clap, clap, hop. That's saltito, right? Hop, sip. Okay, so this uh, only happen when you have a verse that end with a vowel and a consonant. You double this, uh, the last consonant, and then you add the ed. And we have another rule. Can you read it, please, uh, Veronica? Verbs that end in fright. E I E D fright. Mm -hmm. So we, if you have a verb that end in y, example, a Cry and sin y, right? Y, cry and sin y, try and sin y. So you have to remove this y and then you have to replace that for e, um, i, e, d, right? Right. About this try. one, try, 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 study, 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 carry it. Married, Mary, married, married. So in other words, you um you're going to substitute copy. Y for I. Copy, copy, copy. Okay. So let's finish that. Uh, I send you the link so you can uh, work on that and you can say the, the PDF. Teacher, yes. Siempre una observación siempre que nos comparta algo al favor de compartir en WhatsApp. Porque ahí no queda, digamos, para repasar para otro día o para el siguiente día. Ok. Por favor. Ok. Uh, well, the thing is that I'm, if somebody can help us with that, uh, si alguien me puede ayudar con eso, porque siempre cuando lo abro de acá, eh, no tengo abierto el WhatsApp acá en la computadora. Entonces, pero si alguien nos puede ayudar compartiéndolo, enviándolo al, al WhatsApp. Sí, es que yo intenté compartir el link del mensaje que nos mandó WhatsApp, pero no se puede, no sé si es porque yo estoy con el teléfono. No sé si la computadora ¿Alguien, se ¿alguien más? ¿Alguien más si nos puede ayudar? Ahí ya, ya está, con Lady. Ya lo mandé. Thank you, Lady. Ok, sí, porque Gracias. como ya a veces no lo tengo abierto y sí tarda bastante en abrirlo, pero ahí sí me van ayudando con eso, chicos. Ok, um, we're going to pass the attendance list. Um, just say present, ok. I don't feel like it's me. <laughs> Let's see. Um, Ana Marlene Andrade de Osorio. Presente. Thank you. Ana Verónica Hernández Rodríguez. Present, Miss. Thank you. Blanca Isabel Tunaca de Rodríguez. Present. Thank you, Blanca. Carlos Miguel Umaña Lobo. Present, teacher. Thank you, Miguel. Carlos Roberto Argueta. A mí no me mencionó, teacher. Ok. ¿A quién no mencioné? ¿No? Blanca Luz Delgado. Ah, okay, yes. Uh, Blanca Luz okay, Delgado. Sorry, Blanca. 
<ríe> ya, ya, ya me está afectando. Carmen Elena Maratayalas. <ríe> ok, Carmen Elena. Hello, hello. Mañana día libre. <ríe> Mañana es el día libre. <ríe> ok, <ríe> Carmen Guadalupe Gales. <ríe> no va a haber tráfico, no vamos a venir a tiempo. Sí, va a estar full. No, no tengo <ríe> Es un día especial para muchos maestras. Yes, we're claro, going to claro, celebrate claro. with a class. Corazón. Bueno, déjame ver. ¿Y aquí quién va a repartir los chocolatitos? Ah. Ramírez. Bueno, bueno, Le va a traer un chocolate. Le va a traer un gran chocolate. Dibujado. Chocolate con oso, te gusta. Un chocopanda le va a llevar. Chocopanda. Ok, Clelia Estela Flores Molina. Present. Thank you. Carmen Guadalupe Galvez. No sé si se la había mencionado. Carmen Guadalupe Galvez. Daniel Alberto Ramos Osorio. Okay. Diana Maribel Hueso Portillo. Fernando Salvador Figueroa. Present teacher. Thank you, Fernando. Jorge Luis Castaneda Martínez. Juan Ezequiel Rivera Lemos. Julio César Aguillón Arevalo. Present. Thank you, Julio. Lady Joana Hernández. Present, Miss. Thank you, Lady. Nilton Alexander Vázquez. Present. Okay. Oscar René Molina. Present. Teacher. Oscar, can you repeat it? Present, teacher. Thank you. Rosa de Los Ángeles Enríquez. Present. And Veronica Elizabeth Burgos. Veronica, hello. Present teacher. Okay. Thank you. I know hello. that you don't want to come tomorrow because it's uh, Valentine's Day. Yes. I think you yes. want to celebrate. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's celebrate the morning. <laughs> I had to look in for my girlfriend pre first <laughs> for to celebrate. <laughs> Okay, so you have to look for a press and anything. Okay, so let's continue. We have the class objective. Can you read it, please, Nilton? Yeah, yeah, ahorita. Okay, class objectives. Participants, we uh, we be able to write some information, question using the simple past correctly, in groups as well as to find the correct answer to question. Produce it with their classmates. Okay, fine. As to find, fine, fine. As to find. The correct answers, answers. The correct answers. Okay, produce. Produce. Okay. So look at this. So we're gonna check um, the following uh, information about the double H questions in the past tense. So how do we form the double H questions in the past tense? Can you see the chart? Can you see the double H uh, question? Yes. So it's a double Y. Uh huh. What do you do? Can you check? Can you see that? Yes. Okay. So look at this, with open questions or double H questions, uh, examples, what are the double H questions that you know? For example, what, what's another one? Where, Why, where, any where, other, where, when, where, who, where, who, who, where who, which, which, okay. Which, whom, whom, who, how, how, when, Okay, so it's the, yeah, when. Okay, so look at this. This question where goes at the beginning and then you need the auxiliary for the past, right? Did, so what did, subject pronoun and the verb in the simple form. So here I have some examples of verbs and we're going to create some questions, okay. When did you, so I want you to give me a verb. When did you, what? Buy. Buy? When did you, when did you buy what? Shoes. 
Okay, when did you buy the car? Okay. Where did you? Any verb? So you can select one from this chart or any other that you think. Where did you? Where did you go last summer? Where did you go last summer? Okay, awesome. Where did you go last summer? Any other question? When? When did you? Right, see, eat, speak, break, where? When did you stay? When did you stay last weekend? Okay, when? Mm, when? Or where? Oh. Yes, where? Mm -hmm. So it must be where. Where? Where do you say yes? When? Where do you when? stay? Uh, where do you stay where last week? Last weekend. Now uh, we need a question using when. When did you? When did? It's about time. Yes, a time. When do you? Uh, when do you get married? Is it? My okay. your parents. Visit when did your, your parents? Your, your parents. parents. Okay. 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 Let's see, we have another one. Um, probably a uh, why. Why did you? What do you? Uh, take a English class. Okay, when do you take an English class? Okay, so as you notice, it's very simple. What we have to do in here is to use a double H question plus auxiliary did plus the subject plus the base form, uh, the verb in the simple form by go, stay, visit, take. Right, and then you add the, the rest. Um, question one: When did you buy the phone? When did you buy the phone, hey, Marlene? When did you buy the phone? The last year. Okay. I. I okay. I found. Mm -hmm. I bought it last year. Okay. Where did you go last summer? Let's see. Julio, where did you go last summer? I went. Julio, Julio? I went to the beach. You went to the beach. Okay. And another question. What do you do there? Let's see, lady, what do you do there? So let's imagine that you went to the beach. What do you do there? They the sun. Okay. So you sunbathe. Look, the sun. I sunbathe. I a okay. I ate fish, for example. I drank, let's say, a soda, right? Of course, your babies. Uh, where did you stay last weekend, Veronica? Hmm. Uh, I I stayed uh, work at work. Mm. Yes. I stay a uh, celebrate uh wedding. Okay, I stayed. Well, I, I mean basically about the location. Where did you stay last week? In a hotel, at home? Uh, you mentioned at work. I stayed in San Miguel Tepesontes. You stayed in San Miguel. Okay. Any uh, special place? No? It's in San Miguel Tepesontes. San Miguel Tepesontes. Okay. Tepesontes. Um, when did you visit your parents? Anybody, um, let's see, anybody who wants to answer? When did you visit your parents? I visit 
That's quick. Mm -hmm. So how do you say that? I visit. That's months. I visited. Uh huh. Cool. Them, right? I visited them. Okay. I visited yes, them. Yesterday. Okay. On Saturday or Saturday. Okay. Why do you take an English class? Guys, why do you take an English class? Uh, I, I take you because I I knew speaking. <laughs> Porque necesitamos hablar. <laughs> okay, because I need to. I need to to God speak another speak. work. To, to speak, speak okay. in my to get a job, okay. Uh -huh. Yes, um, Blanca, any other idea? Because I need to visit other country. Uh -huh, because you need to visit another country, okay. Because you need to get a visa, or because you need to uh, get, the, let's say, what else? Uh, get a scholarship, I don't know, if you want to uh, obtain a scholarship, you're asked for a, for an, let's say a communicative level, right? Okay, so now let's check uh, some more examples. Just hold on. Please, let me see. Uh, Marlene, help us with this. Read the grammar book for the past simple double H questions and the exercises. Okay. We we'll use below. question words before the thing. With the infinitive to ask for information about the past. What did you have for lunch yesterday? When did you wake up this morning? Why did they leave? Where did she go? Who did she see? How did he know? How much milk did you drink? Okay. So basically what, it, uh, what we have here is that you're going to use the double H questions, uh, words before did plus the infinity, right? Have, wake, leave, uh, go, see, and no, uh, and in here you have did, uh, drink, drink the verb that you have in there. So now we're going to uh, try to write the correct uh, forms for the questions. Okay, the pioneers, why leave home? Why did the pioneers leave home? So the example, number two. So what do you think about it? How long? So what's next? The journey. How long? Uh-huh. Did no. what subject the journey? Journey. Mm. How long did no take take, take the journey? Uh, okay. So how long did the journey take? Number three. So listen up. I'm going to send you the link so you can work on that too. Okay, and please send it to WhatsApp. So you can uh, work with me. Okay, so there you go. And please send it to WhatsApp. Okay, number three, where uh, the journey, day, and star. Double H. Where? Where? Did. Did. No, sorry. Day. Subject. Day. Day. Okay. Start. Okay. Start the journey. The journey. Okay. Where did they start the journey? Number four. What? 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 Mm -hmm. what did? What did? They. Take with them. Take, Take with. Them. Awesome. What did they take with them? 
Why? When did when did they 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 travel? Okay, awesome. When did they travel? Number six. Which which way did did which way did they go? Uh -huh. Which way did they go? ¿Por qué calle? ¿Por qué camino se fueron? So, which way? ¿Dónde? Right? Um, let's read the questions. Why did the pioneers leave home? How long did the journey take? Where did they start the journey? What did they take with them? When did they travel? And which way did they go? So now let's see. We have to match the questions above to the following answers. So write the numbers. So we have a questions from one to six, and we have to match these six questions with these boxes. Okay, so let's read the possibilities. Um, Veronica, can you start with the first one in the spring? Let's see. In the spring, in summer, because the weather was fine. Okay. Oscar? Can you read it? Things like? I think, thing like future, no, for his huh? future, money More and in. jewelry. Okay, things jewelry. like furniture, clothes, money, and jewelry. 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 Okay, a lady. At a town called Independence. Okay, cold. 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 And uh, we also have this one, Nilton, about? About five, six months. Okay, uh, about five or six months. Okay, uh, Marlene? From, from Minnesota to Oregon. And finish with this one, please, Marlene, because? Because they wanted a better life. Okay, because they wanted a better life. So now let's try to match that. Okay, let's try to match that. Question number one. Why did the pioneers uh, leave home? Why they, did they leave? Any idea? So what could be my answer for that question? Okay, so let's read it that question again. Because they want uh, a better life. Okay, because so remember that you have um a question that is going to be answered with because, right? Okay, question two. How long did the journey take? How long did the journey take? Um about five, five months. 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 Okay, about five to six months. Number three, where did they, they start the journey? From Minnesota to Oregon. Mm -hmm. Where did they start the journey? Um, in the spring. From Minnesota to Oregon. In the spring and summer because the spring is and summer warm. because. So think about your answer. So what could be the answer? From, mm. from Minnesota to Oregon. From Minnesota to Oregon, okay. Any other idea? In the spring. Mm. Okay, where did they start the journey? In the spring and summer because the weather was fine. Okay, from Minnesota to Oregon. <laughs> Let's see. And um, well, we're going to leave that one. Of, so that's going to be the last one because we have two ideas, and I think we have one more. Uh, four. Oh, Why oh, does oh, it oh, take oh, with them? Uh, Veronica? Uh, no. I was wrong. So what we do you did. think, Veronica? Mm. 
The question was, where did they start the journey? So uh, think, think in about the, it. Uh, uh huh. In the spring, you think? The spring and summer because the weather was fine. Okay, so we're gonna check that later. A uh, four. What did they take with them? Question four. What did they uh, take the with them? Yes, Julio. Uh, the town calling in the ah okay so you think it's this one okay so you think it's this one number three so let's continue with number four we're going to leave that one uh for a let's see so it's going to be the last one let's check number four what did they take with them what did they take with them question four question four Oscar, what do you think about question four? What? What did they take with them? What did they take with them? Um, why did the pioneers? Mm -hmm. So that's number four, right? Things. Mm -hmm. Things like, like furniture. Clothes, money, travel. Okay. Uh, when did they travel? When, they when did they travel? From Minnesota. When? From Minnesota to Oregon. To Oregon. Mm. When? From Minnesota to Oregon. About what is it now? Read the question when. again. Read the question again. Read the question. When did they the, the travel? Okay. The when. first teacher. <laughs> in the <laughs> summer and yes, right? When. In the spring. In the spring. spring. Mm -hmm. when. When. Mm -hmm. when. In the spring, right? Mm -hmm. In the yeah. spring and summer because the weather was fine. Excellent, Marlene. Yes, um, the was fine. Uh, how about six which way did they go which way at uh, the town so we have questions three and six so you have at a town called independent in from minnesota to oregon three is from minnesota to oregon the number six yeah from minnesota to oregon Number six. six. Number six. Add a town. Okay, so you think six is from Minnesota to Oregon? Yes. No. No. <laughs> really? Okay. Do you want to change that? I think so. Is that six teacher from Minnesota to Oregon? Mm, okay. Mm. Okay. So you decided that. Okay. <laughs> so I say it. No. <laughs> No. Which way? Por cual camino se fueron? Porque calle. Which way did did they go? Uh, yes, uh, lady. I don't know. Six. Porque pregunta por cual camino se fueron desde the from Minnesota to Oregon. Mm, okay. Uh, where did they start the journey? I don't call it independence. Independence. Okay. We're going to check that. Uh, let's see. Look at the following questions and choose the correct double H question using D. Okay. So what could be the correct one? So we have to look at the following questions and cho choose the correct double H question using D. Okay. Number two. Okay. Why oh. Abel's friend asked oh, Abel's friend asked him to help? I repeat it, please, Veronica. Yes. The second. The second one. Read the question. Read the question. Why Abel's friends asked him to help? Okay. Okay. Why did Abel's friends ask him to help? Okay. Good. Number two. How far the pioneers traveled from east to west? Anybody? 
Nelton, Julio. Is Rafael here, by the way? No. That's right. Marlene, Lady, Oscar. Mm -hmm. How far? How first far? one. First one. First one? Okay. How far? How far did the pioneers travel from east to west? Okay. 50-50? No? <laughs> we don't have that. <laughs> well, uh, um, <laughs> you don't have that. <laughs> the second one. This one? Travel is the past. Mm -hmm. First one. First one. The fifth. The first one. Why? Why is the first one and not the second one? Because the auxiliary verb. Okay, so we have auxiliary verb in the infinity, two questions. Infinity. Yes. But the second the one is in the like verb. Uh, the verb is the present. Ah, the, the auxiliary verb. Did. Okay, so we have auxiliary verb, but so what is the form that we use for questions? The, mm -hmm. the form of the verb. Simple mm -hmm. past or simple uh, present? I mean, infinity. Present. 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 Mm -hmm. First, yeah. Okay, uh, number three. What do you think? How many kilometers they travel each day? How many kilometers did First one. they? First one. Can you read it, Marlene? How many kilometers did they travel? Each day. Awesome. Okay. Number four. Where the pioneers put heavy furniture. Where the first one. Pioneers put heavy furniture. 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 Okay. Then number five, where they slept at night. Any idea, guys? The second where they sleep at night. Awesome. Okay. They sleep at night. How about six? Okay, six. Blanca. Oh, let's see. Nailton. Rosa. Why pioneers took some things off their way gone? Option two. Option two. Okay. Nice. The pioneers take some things off there. Wow. Okay. So now, uh, can you read the instruction for this one, please, Julio? E, read. Read. Read the. In Interview. interview then listen and why the question with was where did in a question word mm -hmm. so it's basically mixed so you have to read the interview then listen and write the question with was where did in a question word you ready ready okay, okay. So let's do it. Just let me share with you. Okay. Page 66, exercise seven. Mr. Balestra, when did you come to America? I came to America in 1947 when I was 19 years old. Did you fly? No, I didn't fly. Planes were very expensive then. I sailed in a big ship. Did you enjoy it? Yes, I enjoyed it most of the time, but I was seasick some days. I didn't enjoy that. Why did you leave home? I left home because I wanted to see the world. Who did you travel with? No one. I traveled on my own. Were you lonely? No, I wasn't lonely. I met lots of interesting people on the ship. And one special person, too. 
Who was the special person? A young lady called Angelina. She became my wife. So let's listen again uh, once more, guys. Okay? Page 66, Copy exercise 7. Mr. Balestra, when did you come to America? I came to America in 1947, when I was 19 years old. Did you fly? No, I didn't fly. Planes were very expensive then. I sailed in a big ship. Did you enjoy it? Yes, I enjoyed it most of the time, but I was seasick some days. I didn't enjoy that. Why did you leave home? I left home because I wanted to see the world. Who did you travel with? No one. I traveled on my own. Were you lonely? No, I wasn't lonely. I met lots of interesting people on the ship. And one special person, too. Who was the special person? A young lady called Angelina. She became my wife. Okay, so I think that was clear. Do you want to listen to that again, guys? Tell me. Okay, okay don't worry. You, you can copy the question. Page 66, exercise 7. Mr. Balestra, when did you come to America? I came to America in 1947, when I was 19 years old. Did you fly? No, I didn't fly. Planes were very expensive then. I sailed in a big ship. Did you enjoy it? Yes, I enjoyed it most of the time, but I was seasick some days. I didn't enjoy that. Why did you leave home? I left home because I wanted to see the world. Who did you travel with? No one. I traveled on my own. Were you lonely? No, I wasn't lonely. I met lots of interesting people on the ship. And one special person, too. Who was the special person? A young lady called Angelina. She became my wife. Okay, so let's try with the first one. Okay, so when did you come to the USA? Okay, read that, please. Hey, Veronica, when did you come to the USA? The, um, did you fly? Did you fly? Number three, anybody? Did you enjoy it? You enjoy it. Number four, somebody else. When do you leave home? When do you leave home? Okay. Uh, question number five. Born and laundry. Okay. Where do you lonely? Mm -hmm. Number six. Who did you travel with? Okay, who did you travel with? Okay, number six. Where did you live? Were you? Where did you lonely? Mm. Okay, Um. well, uh, remember that with where to be, you don't use auxiliary did. With where to be, did. were you? Were you lonely? Were you alone? So I think that's the question. So we're going to play the listening back again. Number seven. Who was, how was, how was the special person? Who was the special lady? Who was, who was the special person? Who was the special person? Who was the special lady? Person. Okay. So I'm going to... No le falta una letra. Which one? Number six. Hello. Okay. 
who was a special person, person right there. were you alone uh number six no um you're thinking about the auxiliary did right mm -hmm. it's a it's a question with where to be uh with to be you won't use auxiliary did um in this case mm -hmm. oh I, I mean if the question is where did you uh-huh adonde mm, or where or estabas so what do you think which one is the correct one for you double h where or where past well, tense of one. to be that one. that one okay so let's listen that back again page 66 exercise 7 Mr. Balestra, when did you come to America? I came to America in 1947, when I was 19 years old. Did you fly? No, I didn't fly. Planes were very expensive then. I sailed in a big ship. Did you enjoy it? Yes, I enjoyed it most of the time, but I was seasick some days. I didn't enjoy that. Why did you leave home? I left home because I wanted to see the world. Who did you travel with? No one. I traveled on my own. Were you lonely? No, I wasn't lonely. I met lots of interesting people on the ship. And one special person, too. Who was the special person? A young lady called Angelina. She became my wife. Okay, so do you want to modify anything? Yes. Who was the special the person? Person. Yo escuché que dijo, where did you lonely? O escuché mal. Okay, yes, we have to modify something. Were you? Where did you lonely? Were you lonely? Yo lo había escrito yo. Yo también. <laughs> okay. How about question four? Question four? Why? Why did you Why? leave home? Why, Why? did you leave home? Did you home? Did you okay, do you want to modify anything, Julio? Do you want to modify anything, guys? Yes? No? No. Not yet. <laughs> okay, so let's check. Cross your fingers. Let's see. Okay, so what do you have for this one? Who was the special person? So let's check. So I think that's a matter of this. So they didn't write the answer. Who was the special person? Well, that's that's okay. Me parece que no la registraron ahí cuando la esto no la han de ver dejado vacía. Es no la marca. Okay, very good, guys. So now let's continue because we have some other things and just hold on. Okay, I'm going to stop sharing. So let's wait. Too quiet, guys. <laughs> okay, uh, but I think we're ready. Page 40, no, 35, I think. 34. Okay, fine. Quisiera aprovechando, podemos ver. So let me know if you. Okay, which one? ¿Cuál? ¿Cuál es todo? Ah, okay. So let me open that. Okay, vamos a dejar ahí cargando la plataforma mientras eh, compartimos eso. Okay, let me know if you can see the screen. Can you see the PDF, the student book?
can you say it? Uh, Oscar, Veronica? Yo qué hice? Hola, Oscar. Chicos, ¿me pueden escuchar? ¿Me escuchan bien? Hola. Ok, awesome, thank you. So listen up, we're going to um, read the following email about customer's problem, and we're going to check uh, some questions. So let's try to read the email, and then we're going to answer some questions. Um, let's see, so we have a to Peter at Jim, uh, well, that's, I think that was Gmail, right? Dot com, so I made a mistake. <laughs> uh, subject, complain about trip from Acer, uh, dot r at gmail.com. So that's misspelled. Ahí está, ahí tú caí, te pones que es una hair. Let's see, could you read this paragraph, please, uh, Marlene, last week? Me, teacher? Yes, please, Marlene, read the paragraph. Okay, last week I had a chance to travel with your company to another country. But to be honest with you, it was a bad experience because the bus that you assigned me assigned me in didn't have AC. It was a long trip and the bus was very slow. I am considering not traveling with you in because of the Okay, thank you. last week I had a chance to travel with your company to another country, but to be honest with you, it was a bad that you assigned me in didn't have AC. What's the meaning of AC? Very slow, right? So like the ones from Chalat. I am considering not as I had. So you can send that one email to the suggestion. Ya saben qué hacer. So let's see, we're going this. So where did the passenger go? So where did the passenger go? Where? Okay. He traveled. Uh -huh. Yeah, he went to another country. Why did the passenger consider it a bad experience? And give us an example. The bus was very slow. Okay. They didn't have AC. The bus, okay, was very slow. And what else? It was a long trip. They didn't AC. Uh -huh. Okay. Didn't. The bus didn't have ice. It didn't have didn't have AC, right? It was a long trip. Yeah, it was the bus was very slow. Uh, why did the passenger send uh, that that email? Why? So the question must be why here. Why? So why did he send the email? Any idea? Because, uh, because, he was bad. because he was a bad experience? Yes, because it was a bad experience. Okay, so let's continue. Okay, could you read these ins and the short answers? Well, the answers. For these questions, what? what did you answer with this? Okay, what did you buy? What did you buy? I bought a vacation package. With the where did he fly to? He, fly to? he flew to another, another country. Another country, right? He, he flew. When did, did we pay for okay. the service? We pay for the service last month. Okay. How did they find out of the promotion? They found out about it on the internet. Okay. So now we're going to complete the following questions. Look at this. Uh, complete the email using prepositions of time and compare the answers with the classmate. So right now I'm going to um, need your help in order to complete these questions. What did you, 
We're going to complete that using uh, prepositions and we're going to compare that with a classmate. So what could be a question for in order to complete that email? So let's pretend that you, uh, you were involved in that situation. So what could be one question? Any idea, guys? What did you do a problem? What did you? What did you do with problem? Okay, what did you do in order to solve the problem? Okay. So in here, you have to create a question. So give me some ideas. How do you Give me some ideas. So what could be some more questions that you may have about the situation? Veronica, any idea? For example, how do you pay? How do you uh, yeah, answer? How do you, how did you? Answer, answer the email. Mm, okay, how do you answer the email? So do you think this could be a suitable question for the email? How do you answer the email? So let's pretend that we're trying to uh, give a uh, give him, uh, let's say, some help. So how do you answer the email? So what okay. do you do in order to solve the problem? How do you help? Uh -huh. How do you help? Number three, what do you? Why? Uh -huh. Why did you? For example, why were you upset? So what could be a, a related question to this? Why did you contact? Okay. Why did you contact? Us. <laughs> but this is not uh, really polite, right? <laughs> well, but that's straight. <laughs> Where did you travel to, for example? And number five, who did you Who did you? Oh. Mm -hmm. Who did you go with? Who did you go with? Um. Okay. So I think we need to uh, think about the that email in order to provide uh, some more questions. But we're gonna check the platforms, and I think uh, some of you have questions about it. I don't know. A exercise number. Exercise number 13 or 14? Four, four. 14, so let's check that. Uh, Doing with the exercises. Um, Are you done with until this exercise, right? Yes, Vamos I, con los ejercicios, chicos. Okay, en el 12. En el 12, okay. 12. Ahí uh, lo acabo Oscar, de compartir. You? Ahí dice. So look at this. Uh, the following sentence. No. 
Ando le compartió en WhatsApp. Okay, so let's check that. Mm, okay, so that's part of the... Sí, parece que es la primera parte. Yeah, we have... But let me help you with that. Sí. Oh, that's part four. Part two. And here the, the answer for this one is, I would like to change, right? So I would like, so just I'd like to uh, stay in this place. Okay. But th this must be correct. Eliminate the point. Eliminate the point. Yes, final point. <laughs> no points for that one. <laughs> sí, tuve que eliminar el punto en esa oración para que me la aceptara el sistema. Sí, Eso también. Es que son, no, no, la, solo ese era el problema, pero... Permítame un instante, quiero copiar. Permítame. Miguel, dígame, Miguel. Solo déjeme sacar la, cap, la captura, que me hace falta esas dos. Solo esas dos tengo mal. Sí, yo sé, es que esta dieron problema. Y ahí pueden verlas y las corrigen. Se pueden corregir todavía. Ok. Bien. El punto. Um, let me see. Ana Marlene Andrade Osorio. Hello. Ana Marlene Andrade. Thank you. Present. Ana Verónica Hernández. Thank you. Blanca Isabel Present. Tunaca. Present. Thank you, Blanca. Blanca Luz Delgado. Carlos Miguel Umaña. Present, pero la cámara, la cámara, la cámara, la cámara. Present. Thank you, Miguel. <laughs> Carlos Roberto Arqueta. Present. Y no me meto otra vez. Teacher, van a enviar la, la captura de, 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 del ejercicio que estaba. Sí, que ya, se, ya se la pongo, ya se la pongo. Sí. Okay. Carmen Guadalupe Calves. Present. Thank you. Carmen Elena, no está por acá, chicos. No la he visto, Clelia Estela Flores Molina. Clelia. Clelia Estela Flores Molina. Daniel Alberto Ramos Osorio. Diana Maribel Hueso. <coughs> Fernando Salvador Figueroa. Thank you. Ok, nada más recordatorio, chicos, que ya estamos por terminar. Eh, ya voy a verificar ahí los porcentajes por los que andamos, que ya deben de tener arriba del 50%. A mí no me mencionó, Tisha, en la asistencia. No falta. Eh, todavía no me Blanca falta. Blanca Ah, ok. Ah. Ok. Eh, Julio César Aguillón. Present. Okay. Lady Joana Hernández. Present, Miss. Thank you, Lady. Milton Alexander Vázquez. Present. Thank you. Oscar René Molina. Present, Tisha. Thank you, Oscar. Rafael Antonio Hernández. Rafael, celebrating already. Rosa de Los Ángeles Enríquez. Present. Thank you, Rosa. Verónica Present Elizabeth teacher. Burgos. Ok. Hey, me parece que en la sesión anterior estuvimos con Julio, ¿verdad, Julio? Yes. Eso me confirma ahí. Yes. Ok, entonces estamos con Lady. Si alguien más que se quiera quedar, pues se puede quedar. Le voy a compartir aquí este, a Miguel nada más lo que nos hacía falta ahí del ejercicio. And the rest, have a great night, guys. Okay, enjoy your uh, night. No voy a revisar los porcentajes, teacher. Oh, yes. También. Yes. Okay. Bueno. 3%, Verónica. Estamos bien. Me. Yo. <laughs> Julio. ¿Quién me dijo yo? Ah, Rosa. Julio, Rosa, ok. Vamos, Julio, Rosa. Yo también, por favor. Eh, Rosa, damos el 62.25. Ok. Ok. Veamos cuál es el máximo aquí. Ok. Eh, aproximadamente, an, ahorita deberíamos de andar por un 65, creería yo. Déjenme verificar. Alguien que no haya faltado ni ningún día. <ríe> ok. Yo... Ni me ha faltado ningún día. 62%. ¿Cuál? 72 tengo yo. 62, Julio. No, Julio. Oscar, mm. ya vamos con Oscar. Gracias. Vamos a checar. Oscar, andamos con el 65%. A veces que Oscar no ha faltado ninguna no. clase, ¿verdad? 
No, entonces sí, tendríamos que andar por 62, 63, estamos súper bien, pero no falta. Vamos a ver alguien más. Eh, Julio, le dije eso. Eh, lady, eh, Lady tiene 40%. No. <risa> Casi me da algo, mis. <risa> Dios quiere más. A ver, Verónica. No, Verónica, estamos, estamos bien, Verónica, 63. Eh, blanca, veamos, Blanca, Blanca Luz, ¿verdad? Sí. Ok, Blanca, no, por 46, 46.50, me parece. ¿no? Sí, 4650. Eh, tratemos de ponernos ahí todos los días esta semana, hacer lo que nos falta para que suba. Para que suba. Okay. Eh, veamos ahí, Miguel. Miguel, no sé si ya le dije a Miguel. No. No, todavía no han llegado a casa. Traten de, de conectarse como oyentes para que no le reste ahí el 16. Entonces, hay que ponernos las pilas, esto que nos falta todavía. Faltan okay. unos días. Ok, gracias. No termina el culto, ¿no? Sí, entonces mi sugerencia es que cuando no puedan estar, eh, conéctense como oyentes. ¿no? O para alguna indicación. Y bueno, creo que ya, ya estamos ahí con todos. Teacher. Sí, Rosa. Sí, yo me quedé también el 12, pero fíjense que tengo que ir a cocinar ahorita porque le dejo comida hecha a mi gente que se va mañana temprano. Ah, ok, de acuerdo, pero 62.25 estamos bien, Rosa. Okay. Mm -hmm. Gracias. Okay. Goodbye. Okay. Bye bye. Okay, so that's all. Um, me quedo con Lady. Y si alguien más tiene dudas, pues se puede quedar también. Okay. So have a great okay. night, guys. Yo, yo, yo solo quiero la, la captura. Ah, de la, la captura. Ah, que no. no. Ahí, si quiere me la manda más al ratito al WhatsApp y cuando pueda para no atrasarle tanto. Oh, no, ya la tengo, ya la tengo. No worry. Okay, te puedo compartir también el answers. Okay, si puedes tomar la sí, ya, Gracias, gracias. Buenas noches. Okay, okay buenas noches. Yeah. Okay, Bye. Okay, uh, lady, I would like to know if you have any question. Oh, miss. <laughs> Tell me. Me gustaría saber pues, si hay alguna pregunta o de la plataforma, algo que te podemos ayudar ahí. Con algún Permítame sitio. un momento. Pero... Ok. Listo, Miss. Gracias. Thank you. Ok. Ok, dime. Fíjese que este, con respecto a la tarea, es que me ha atrasado, pero es porque aquella vez tuve miedo después del examen, que no, del midterm, que no, que me fueran a salir mal. Entonces, no, no las hice, no las he hecho. Estás en la 2. En la 12, ajá. Y de esas, sí, en, ¿quieres compartir alguna pantalla? Ah, sí, sí, me parece súper. Ahí está, ahí está perfecto. Okay. Uh -huh. Entonces, uh, ahora tendría ya la 14, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Hoy. Ok. Estamos tres. Entonces, tres. para mí sería así: her was. No. Her dog, subject. Uh -huh. Pero, right. Into negatives. Uh -huh. Oh, often. Ajá. Esta Vamos casita de acá, así. Sí, perfecto. Entonces, la vez pasada, cuando no le ponía el punto, aparecía mal. O, cuando le ponía el punto, aparecía mal, no me acuerdo. Y usted me dijo que se lo quitara. Probemos. ¿verdad? Ajá, probemos porque. No Sin punto. No me acuerdo. This is negative. 
Negative. Negative. I did. Uh -huh. Didn't or did didn't. not. Uh -huh. Found. Simple form. Ah. I didn't find. Así como estaba. Fine, fine. No. Sería la ah. form, la base form. Fine. Fine. Así. Fine. Yes, I didn't find two dollars. Oh, that's right. Miss, entonces, en este caso. Es que es. Um, ¿En qué forma están? Porque tengo que pasarla a... Están en afirmativas. En pasado Ajá. simple. Ajá. Y acá dos... siempre es pasado simple, pero la voy a mover a negativo. Exacto. Las, prim... las que están ahí, las que te han puesto ahí, están en pasado uh -huh. afirmativo. Y, uh -huh. las que está... y te... nos están pidiendo acá que las escribamos en negativas. Uh -huh. En pasado. Uh -huh. Así. I went, ok, I went, um, by, ahí no, no es el to be, el verbo que estás utilizando, sino que es ir, yo fui. Yo fui. I went. Ajá, entonces sería I didn't. Go. I didn't go. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Sí, cuando uh -huh. utilizas el to be, ahí no vas a utilizar auxiliar, en este caso, cuando es to be, como el que tenemos arriba, en la oración 1, su perro uh -huh. estaba sediento, her dog wasn't thirsty, entonces ahí no utilizas auxiliar, con los otros verbos, sí, encontré 10 dólares, I didn't find 10 dólares, entonces ahí sí utilizo yo el auxiliar, pero con el to be no. Mm. El, tubi, el tubi tiene su propia forma negativa wasn't y weren't en pasado uh -huh. ahí no se necesita que utilice ese, un verbo auxiliar uh -huh. en, es como este entonces ajá, ahí sería uh, I was wasn't, exacto negativa en pasado pero como el tubi tiene su propia forma eh, para pas pasado. I wasn't. Y aquí es igual. Upset with her. Sí. Lo mismo. Sin punto. Bueno, A ver. ahí yo creería que sí tenemos que ponerlo. ¿no? ¿Se los pongo? Sí, ponenlo de todo. Ok, porque no los estaba poniendo. Mm -hmm. Sí, a menos que no, lo, no esté ubicado, ¿verdad? pero no está programado, pero yo creo que sí. Sí, and I didn't. Uh -huh. Base form. Like. Ajá. Ay. Espérame que no veo. <laughs> ya. Yeah, like. that happened to me. Okay, didn't fly. <laughs> Y yeah, I have to find it. <ríe> Me pasa y tengo que encontrarlo. <ríe> ya no <lo> veo. <ríe> no, pero un día, un día me pasó que no sé, pero no lo encontraba y no lo encontré y no me salía. Y ya a veces cuando lo veo aquí en la computadora, a veces sale en automático. <ríe> ya ni sé ni la veo, porque es que la tecla, a veces no me sale. Y como en español casi no se usa, no sé dónde está. <ríe> Vaya. Así. No, sí. sí, está bien. Sí, están todas bien. Está so awesome. Entonces, mm. click on next. 12, 13. Let's check 13. Los videos sí están todos, ¿verdad? Ahí está el 13. Fíjense que yo los videos no los he visto. Ah, ok. No, no hay problema. Es el video de esta sesión. Mm, ok. Ajá. Eh, y aquí tengo, tengo que hacer la, la pregunta. pregunta basada en la respuesta. Yes. 
I send the email. ¿Con qué empezamos? Ajá, ¿con qué empezamos una pregunta? Una yes, no question. W. Con. Uh, auxiliary verb. Ajá. Uh -huh. mm. Auxiliary verb. The opposite. Ajá, uh -huh. uh -huh. simple present. Do, did, right? Ajá, uh -huh. did you... Ay, la pregunta que me hicieron hoy. <laughs> Yes. Did, did yeah. you get? No. Did you get? Look at no. the verb. Yes, I did. I sent the email. Mm -hmm. Did you? Vamos a utilizar el, el verbo que esté ahí. Sent. No. Es como de enviar. Ajá. Es que sería basado en la respuesta. Entonces sí, Aquí. lo hice. Envié el correo. Entonces sería la pregunta. Did you send the email? Yes, I did. I sent the email. Uh -huh. Question mark. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. Question two. Mm, did you did not did they? Uh huh. Did they? Did they? Um. They didn't check the information. Check. Check. Uh huh. So the verb is there. They, they didn't check the information. Question mark. Okay. Did you, did they check the information? Mm -hmm. No, they didn't. Question three. Yes, I did. I went to, in the morning, I went to the meeting. Did you go? Mm-hmm. Did you go to the meeting? Yeah. So you see, you can do it. Seria, <laughs> uh, did he? Uh -huh. Did he? Buy, buy the car? Yes. Yeah. Yesterday. Did he buy not? a car yesterday? A car. Uh -huh. Because of a the car. article. Ah, lo que pasa es que ahí tiene el artículo. Así está. Sí, va a estar también. Did he buy a car yesterday? Yes. Did he buy a car yesterday? Yes. Ok. Uh, did they? Yes. Está. Study. At UCA. Yes. So let's send it. Sí. Yeah, 20. <laughs> And next. <laughs> you want to finish that? <laughs> Estoy muy feliz. <laughs> oh, that's great. <laughs> oh, Aquí that's sería great. el army. Uh -huh. You only have to rearrange the, that. What auxiliary a subject and verb? What do you buy? Question mark. Where did she go last night? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Night. Okay. When you were born. Uh huh. When you were. Um. No. When were you born? Tenemos una double ah, question yeah. con el verbo to be. Ah, uh, huh. mm -hmm. Ah, sí. Ah, perdón, 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 permíteme ahí. When, es when. When. When va primero. When uh -huh. were. Sí, es que estamos confundiéndola con, con were, pero el otro were. When. Me confundí. Where, when. No, al revés. When, ah. al revés. When, cuando, where, were you born? I don't know, is, when were you born? Mm -hmm. How old are you? No. How were you on? How? So let me check. Como la primera. 
Power towels. Towel. Were you? No, eso sí no entiendo. Towel. Sería la question. Towel. ¿De cuántos años? ¿Cuántos años tenías? How old? Ah. Que en, en presente. How old are you? How old? Ahora, were you? En pasado. Oh. Solo se le pone el where ahí. Ajá. What did you do yesterday? Ajá. Uh -huh. Check it. <laughs> <Estoy> muy feliz. <laughs> okay. Well, you see, you're done. <laughs> okay. Me, solo una preguntita. Mm -hmm, yeah. The midterm, uh, este quedó así porque el del punto que le mandé no lo, no sé, al final no lo. Y eso ya no lo puedes modificar, pero tendrías que hacerlo todo, ¿verdad? Quizá. Eh, no try sé. es la parte 4 la parte 4 ajá siguiente parte ajá porque todas esas me salieron bien okay. pero es otra al final no click on next yeah. y de las notas que esta fue mira uh -huh. okay, pero esa sería I would like to change Ah, aquí. Ajá. To, to change. change. Ah, no lo que pasa es que no está ahí entre la opción, por eso es que no. Vamos a ah. hacer. So, mark it. Hoy sí. Hoy sí. Veamos ahí cómo te queda el porcentaje. El punto. Ahí. Ahorita. So, let's check it. Sí, ahora sí. Ah, ok. Okay, so you know you are 100%. Mi solo una preguntita más. Eh, uh -huh. Respecto a las notas que estaba dando o los porcentajes, ¿eso es con base a? La asistencia. Ah, ok. Uh -huh, okay. La asistencia. But, yo creo que solamente tienes una. Bueno, que te, sí. te redujo por esa, por una hora, creo yo. <risa> De hecho, fue media hora. <risa> fue media hora. Okay. Yo, ya me estaba muriendo de verdad mm -hmm. ni modo ni modo ya ni modo ya perdí ya ya fue ok Miss muchísimas gracias por su ayuda ok lady thank you so much that's oh. so you're doing great ok see you tomorrow ok see you bye bye bye